Well, we just learned that this key advisor with the Trump administration is stepping down today. What can you tell us about that and about the significance to this administration? Sure. So that departure by Dina Powell is set to come early next year, according to statements that we have just received in the last couple of minutes here from the White House, including some on-the-record confirmation, not just from Sarah Huckabee Sanders, but from Dina Powell's boss, basically, H.R. McMaster, the national security advisor, and one of her closest allies inside the West Wing, Jared Kushner, who alluded to Powell continuing to work with them in the peace process, although leaving the specifics up in the air for now. So we know that Dina Powell is leaving. Why does this matter? Why is this important? Think back to how this year has unfolded. Powell has positioned herself. When she came in, she was part of that wing or faction inside the White House. Uh, Gary Cohn, Jared Kushner, Ivanka Trump. Since then, though, has worked to build relationships with, for example, H.R. McMaster uh, and has been somebody who the president by all accounts, trust somebody who the president looks to, for example, in some of these big settings and some of these high profile moments. And she is somebody who does have influence here inside the West Wing. Now, that said, uh, there are also there have also been some questions about her own sort of positioning or the rumors or the speculation of where she wanted to end up. She was uh, sort of widely rumored to have wanted to get back to New York. Her family is still there, uh, it, which is obviously potentially part of what plays into this. But I would note just a couple of things here. Number one, this may be just the start of what we are now seeing uh, of uh, people departing this White House after the first year of the Trump administration. There is somebody else who has been long rumored to be leaving, or at least on the chopping block, and that is Gary Cohn. Based on our reporting, we know that he was unhappy, uh, for example, over the summer, wanted to stick around for taxes. Part two of all this, though, is the way that this departure is happening. I have... Uh, been at this White House for a lot of these sort of breaking news moments, Chris, where we've come up and talked about somebody leaving, whether it's Sean Spicer or Ryan Priebus or Anthony Scaramucci or whomever. Rarely, though, do you see this kind of on the record, organized, coordinated response from the White House, which I think tells you the kind of maneuvering that was happening prior to this announcement, Chris. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.